guys are welcome to Nemtech channel my name is Nehemiah Arenda Geza today I'm happy to have you on board and so guys we are going to learn live production with the Vmix Arenda Geza before we begin let's understand some of the features in this uh, Vmix software basically guys uh, the software is an amazing and a professional application for uh, creating high quality videos uh, by imagine photos in the video content it also provides a variety of advanced tools uh, to help you easily edit your videos combine and make them perfect for different purposes it also offers a perfect solution for merging different types uh, of video clips it uses the state-of-the-art technology to provide you with the high quality live hd uh, video mixing capabilities it also allows you to display record and live stream your production all at the same time it also provides you with the, all the things that you need for combining the video it also has the capability for live mixing uh, switching uh, recording in the live streaming it also supports uh, various uh, popular formats including avi mpg and uh, mp4 and uh, also it allows you to publish your live production directly to the internet Basically, guys, uh, these are some of the features that you encounter uh, in this uh, Vmix software. Uh, render guys, uh, basically, uh, let us begin by first understanding this add input. Uh, and uh, guys, uh, there you can see uh, we have various uh, input sources. We have the video input here. We have a DVD. We have list, camera, NDI, stream, and uh, instant re uh, replay. Uh, we have uh, image sequence. We have video uh, delay, image, photos, PowerPoint color, audio, uh, audio input, uh, titles, virtual sets, web browser, uh, video calls. So basically guys, uh, these are some of the inputs here. Render uh, guys, uh, we are going to understand each of them. So guys, uh, let's begin with the video. You can see it is the first uh, first item here. So uh, to add the video guys, uh, you click, you select this video tab, then I click on the browse. And then I guess you can select the folder where your videos are. So my video for this tutorial is in this uh, folder. Basically, this is the Spanish tutorial that I want us to use for this case. So selecting the video, then I click open. Once you see it, it appears here, then I know that uh, it is selected. Uh, once you are done, then I click here, OK. And then I guess you can see basically we have just added this uh, video in this um, software so guys uh, basically let me try to play uh, and uh, see if it is working and so um basically i don't know if you can hear the voice on your end but then i uh, guess you can see that uh, there's an indication that uh, there's an uh, audio output here and so guys uh, basically this is how you can add the the the, uh, the video and uh, basically to mute it just click on this uh to mute it, just click on this uh, audio then uh, you you'll 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 have muted the you know the audio in this uh, video and uh, basically you also have the uh, audio mixer here on this other end you can mute on this other end as well and so uh, basically i think you have understood how to add what to add the you know the video to the uh, this uh, vmix software and then again uh, the second item that i want us to discuss here is to, uh, to add the titles because uh, the titles are the very very key thing especially when displaying the content to the audience now uh, basically you have the you know uh, presets for lower tabs in this uh, you know vmix software so uh, basically i'm going to choose uh, any any here uh, any uh, basically just click on this uh, titles then i guess it's, it's gonna open then i go to this uh, second tab basically you can you can select any but uh, for me i'm going to choose uh, this second tab here and then uh, specifically this this is a uh, ticker six uh, super news here for news presentation then i click ok and and i uh, basically guess uh, perhaps let me try to add it here so that uh, you can see uh, what we are going to uh, to edit here so guys i want us to edit to edit these uh, titles and uh, basically to customize and uh, make it you know perfect so let me begin with this uh, title now to the title it is headline here now to you can uh, delete and uh, you know customize the text like uh, let me say uh breaking news uh breaking i don't know if this is the spelling for breaking news or uh, let me say bre breaking breaking news i don't know if this is the spelling for breaking news and then i guess uh, perhaps if you want to zoom in basically use this a uh, plus symbol here you can uh, zoom in uh the way you want and then i guess uh, basically the um 
this text let's customize this text and perhaps say let's say something like a live so this is the middle text let me delete and then uh, let me say live let me say live and then i will test um the top text here basically this text here at the top let me say uh, perhaps let me add in my my website uh, the website is um w w basically this is the domain www dot uh, namtech uh, namtech uh, dot com uh, namtech dot, dot com guys i remember how to zoom in just uh, you know click on this a uh, plus you know uh, operator here to zoom out negative operator this one now let me zoom in i think uh, this uh, is perfect and then uh, guys uh, for this uh, lower text basically you can add anything like um uh let me say um perhaps basically where is it with that text basically this is the bottom left uh, text and uh, basically let me say something like um uh let me say um earthquake let me say something like uh, earthquake is a breaking news let me say at earthquake earthquake and then i guess you can see the text are available there and then i guess i also have the the ticker basically the ticker is the text that i will be running here at the bottom then i don't want to i don't want to uh, to try to type this many text but uh, let me just use this default text here and then uh, basically guys uh, you can see that we have these uh, uh these are layers here so in, like in photoshop basically the first layer is the one at the background like at uh, this video and the first layer uh, basically the first layer in the background and then now uh, the second layer basically like uh, if you want to add the second layer it appears on top of this first layer here like uh, basically this uh, ticker text can be uh, here the uh, the you know in front of this other stuff uh, and so guys uh, let me show you how to add the logo here uh, here the you know top right corner here so what you do go to the add input and then I guess I select uh, uh, basically to these uh, title stroke SML. Uh, select these, uh, you know, spinal and suggesting. Then I click what, click on OK. And then I guess uh, you can um, uh, you can select the image here. Then I browse. And then I guess I select, find your logo uh, where, wherever it is. So my logo I think is at the bottom here. Where is it? Uh, here it is. Then uh, once you're done, then I click on Open. And then I guess uh, basically it's available here. You can see that it is uh, the third item here. So what you do if you want to add there here at the top uh, right corner, you can select. You can see this one. This one was uh, the first item, and this one is the second. Then uh, basically this one must be the third item. Like uh, you can add basically the three, uh, three number three. And then I guess you can see that uh, uh, this uh, logo is available here at the top. Uh, top right corner and it's spinning you know and then i guess you can see that uh, this image is available here but uh, let me try to add an image with an aspect ratio of 16 to 9 so let me click on this add input let me click on the add input then again uh, let me go to the image and then i uh, guess uh, let me select what let me select uh the vmix thumbnail here and then i uh, click uh open then uh, I click on OK. So guys, uh, when I click on 4, it's gonna uh, you know override everything here. Basically, if you want to, um, let me first of all click on 4. Now, guys, you can see that when I click on 4, it's gonna override everything here. So guys, uh, basically, this is how you can do it. This is how you can add what is the uh, the image to your VMix what uh, VMix software. So guys, uh, basically, this is the preview. And then at this day, uh, the program, this the live presentation. So guys, uh, the next thing that I want to show is to pro is how to uh, basically to project your uh, content to the screens. So what you need to do is to connect your HDMI cables from your laptop to the screens. And then uh, once you are done, then uh, what you do, guys, I uh, click on this icon here. And then I uh, guess I uh, click on this. Uh, uh, basically, click on the uh project where is it uh, uh here it is uh, and i guess that uh, this uh, first uh, item here basically pc screen only if you want to uh, to hide your content from uh, the screen select this pc and uh, if you want to duplicate everything in this uh, basically uh, all content from this uh, you know laptop to your screens basically guys you are going to duplicate the screen now if you want to present only these uh, you know live production here this live program here 
you're going to do what you're going to click on this extend and then i guess it's gonna display only this what uh these are content from the live and then i basically want to display only the second screen uh once you're done then i just click on this uh full screen here now once it's uh green like this then i guess it is gonna show in there in the you know uh, in the in the main screen so the, uh, the next thing that i want us to discuss uh, is to how to add the ndi camera from your phone to this uh, software so what you do go to uh, the add input here from the bottom left of your uh, software click on this add input and then it's going to show these uh, you know uh, inputs here and then i go to the ndi stroke uh, desktop capture here then i click on it and then i guess ensure that you have installed this uh, software this application to your phone the ndi uh, hx camera and then uh, the next thing that you must uh, put into consideration ensure that uh, the wi-fi that you have connected to the laptop is the same to the one in that in that what in that smartphone so once you have connected then i click on this uh these are uh, you know these tabs here these are uh, this icon here then i uh, click on ok i click on ok then uh, guys you can see that uh, uh, this camera this virtual camera appears here and then uh, you can uh, select basically i said that um these layers are arranged like in photoshop uh the first layer is like uh, the background then uh, the second layer appears uh, in front of the uh, first layer then it goes in that hierarchy so uh in this um yeah, this uh, NDI camera should be number four, right? But uh, I can put it number one. And let me put it on number one. And then I guess you can see that it appears here in the uh, live, uh, you know, uh, screen here. Uh, so guys, uh, basically this is how you can add what the NDI camera. And uh, I think you've understood. Now, the next thing now is to how to add the, uh, the normal camera. To add the normal camera, guys, uh, you click on this icon. Basically, I don't have an, a camera here, but I uh, can... Uh, you, you can use if you have a camera just connect uh, your video capture uh, actually your camera uh, to this software and then i guess it's gonna show up show up here and then uh, basically the other thing that uh, i want to show you is how to add the audio so just click on this basically you have two audios here you have the audio the normal audio and also you have the uh, audio input so with the audio input just click on it and then uh, now select the audio that you want to use and uh, basically guys you can see uh, these are the audios available we have the microphone that i'm using here and then we have we have the uh the the basically the audio the normal audio from this uh, you know laptop so uh, i can select this microphone audio then uh, once you are done then i click on ok now to ensure that uh, the audio works so you can select you can see guys uh, here we have the audio is functioning so once it displays such stuff then uh, uh, be sure that uh, the, the the audio is working so guys i want to show you how to live stream these are uh, content to the youtube I, uh, I guess you now understand how to project to the screens now i want to show you how to uh, live stream into uh, the youtube account you can as well try with the facebook and can try with the uh, twitter for twitter it's periscope you can as well try with the uh, telegram or uh, instagram uh, so what you do let me try with the uh, with the youtube so let me go to my account here it is and then i click on this uh, button for go live i select uh, go live here and then uh, guys uh, what you do uh, you can schedule or you can uh, just live stream just click on this uh, stream here uh, and then what you do click on this edit basically if you want to to add the uh, to add the titles and uh, you know uh, other stuff here but uh, basically let me show you how you can just let like, him straight away L click on this copy and then what you do go to go back to your vmix software and then i click on this stream click on this uh, stream uh, setting here uh, click on this uh, stream setting and then uh, you can select the account that you want to stream uh, from basically you can stream uh, with the several accounts here but i want to show you how to do it with the youtube so for youtube it is here at the bottom you can see youtube live select it then uh, just press the stream key there let me call, press it there and then uh, once uh, it's done then i click on start start all uh, so once you have start uh, the stream then i click on save and uh, close then i go back to the i uh, go back to uh, so guys uh, basically you can see that uh, now our data is now available on youtube and uh, i think you've now understood how to uh, live stream on youtube
So guys, I basically this is what I wanted to show you in this video and I guess you have gained something. Until next time, this is Nehemiah. Goodbye.